Right. Uh, I'm going to do the things that I usually do when I start these streams. I always worry that this game is too loud. You know what? I'm just going to click continue and get into it. Let's go to the dashboard. I forget wh wh what I was doing and where I am. Right, is this going to... Okay, so that's all there. Game category Rainbow Moon, that's all set up nice and lovely. Just gonna click on that so I can send this long to people. There's no music settings or anything, is there? I don't know if that will help. One, two... Oh, okay. This is a test. I can hear myself. It's rather strange. I don't know if you can hear me twice, but I can hear myself after I'm speaking. One, two, three, four. Right, that when I do that it says it's good. But when I talk normally it goes into the too high range. This is so weird. Can I oh if I move the thing down. One, two, three, bah. No, got to turn it right back up. X out of that. Hmm. I'm just looking at the... Oh. I'm just looking through the settings at the moment. I'll unpause that. Audio sharing thing. I've just been in there. Right. I've just been in there as well. Just messing around with these settings here. Oh, 
Oh, just back in that bit again. Right, okay, whatever. Let's get to actually having a a plahi. I can remember where I was and what I was doing. Everyone's fully cured. Yeah, I raised defense up a little bit. Oh! Did you realize you had these other ones that needed raising? HP and MP raising is so like ridiculously inefficient. Now where am I going? Ellie's gonna have to take some time to get back into the swing of this. It's obviously not that way. Now I'll take on the two walking bones. Speed bonus. Oh, he's only got... Uh, she only has two moves, isn't she? I wonder what chair determines what music is used. This won't kill him, will it? Oh yeah, only just though. Right, she's gonna get hit. Oh no! Surprising. So he's just out of range. Right. Just attack. Didn't I already have that down? I thought I did. Does it re-raise itself? For some reason I've got the inclination to hold down R2 when I'm attacking. I have no idea why. I'm trying to think, have I played a game recently where you have to like, hold down a button? I remember thinking of set sooner where you press like square to do the momentum. Yeah, I've been this way. Must be down this way though. I keep forgetting she doesn't have a third sub turn yet. Oh. 
Alright, you can maybe kill this guy. Depends how good Hydra Blaine does. And I've got to remember to use Fruit Rain as well. Because that's the thing that keeps passing me by. Oh, you're weak against Baldrin. Fair enough. Right, skill. Ah, oh. right. Can't do it just yet. How are you all doing for food? I don't have any food. I feel like I've been in here already. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been in here. These must be guarded by... What? I pressed... I pressed X to... And it just... Cancelled the battle. Ba ba ba... Ba ba... Right, you're going to use a lot of this now because... Oh, they're the weaker ones, aren't they? But they're also the closer ones. Oh, and just slowed down. So I can leave you for a bit. That works. Don't even have to move to use it. I can use it up to three times if I want to. But I, I definitely don't need to. And I can use it again. Can I use this? I'm going to use it on this guy twice, I suppose. Yeah, I'll take a risk and I won't defend. Kill that one. And then probably just defend. Yeah, definitely defend after that. Yeah, I just need you to move around, pick some stuff up. I oh, can't kill him because Baldwin's in the way. So I can't use the... I don't know what it's called. That ability that does that. Uh, I'll try to shield bash. Oh, no, no, no. I want to take it. Yeah, I'll just use the torches. Ooh, small ladybug. What does that do? Look. Use it on Baldrin. I don't know what luck does in this game. 
It happened again. I was smashing X and it just sort of skipped by it. Right. Who needs healing? You need healing. Tiny portion. You can make do. Right. Can I fruit rain now? I can. Oh, I've got to remember all the stuff now. Like, what is the ones I want to sell? Right. Use an apple. You have an apple as well. Yeah, I'll just keep these ones. I'll sell them. Actually, I've got loads of space. I've got a bun as well. Yeah, I'll just keep a hold of them for now. I've got plenty of inventory space for my misc items. Oh, look how close to dying he is. Can I kill this in one go? You look like a weaker one. No, but at least I slowed him down. Right. Just having a bit of a yawn there. Now, are those lined up in such a way that Dozeru can take full advantage of them? No, but I can now do a big long range tag against that one, thanks to you stepping out of the way there. Yeah, and you can just Hydroblade that guy. Yeah, he's not long, got much health left, so pretty much anyone can kill him. But he also has hated himself. And you're almost out of MP. Aha, you're bound. No, that's not going to help being bound. Not gonna make much of a difference at all. Right, what can heal? Yeah, she's a tiny herb for now. I can always go back to the the healing point. Edged attack. Didn't quite work. It's alright though. Can use the thingy majiggy earth crusher from here. And that works fair enough. Level up. Oh, he's got one more skill point. Oh, I can't go through there. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do a check. Right, six hours. Oh, look at that. A treasure chest. I'm gonna go back to heal up. Yeah, hours is strange in this game.
Oh yeah, yeah, I can use the... I can use this event now for Desero, because he leveled up. Right. Obviously strength, obviously speed, obviously luck. And I'm, no, I'm not going to bother with defense. Yeah, that's fine. Right, I'm going to do it at one of my regulatory checks to see how this goes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hold on, I know what I'll do. I'll check it this way. Right, turn the volume down on my speakers. Oh dear. I don't... Nah. One second. Right. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to have a drink of water and then listen to the thing that I'm saying. One, two, three. That's enough of that. I still don't like... Oh, you can sort of hear the... I think it's the PS4. Quite annoying. where I was going. Right, there's a treasure chest down this way. Da 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 I'm not sure what determines the battle music. I'm wondering if location has anything to do with it. Yeah, I'll just attack you again. Uh, oh, no. Hey, anyone does that. Where am I? Painful aim. Can I get it? Oh, I just... Hello! How are you doing? I don't understand why this ability is like... The place that you can put the target is diff is so many bases away from where it hits. Good. Oh, two apples and a shield wing. Ah uh, yes. I just went back to heal up my guys because I have found. There's a treasure chest. Yeah, I'll fight these guys. I don't mind fighting the random battles. Now, who are those guys weak against? I forget. I think that would be weak to Trisha. Oh no, the stronger against... The stronger against Trisha. Yeah, it's very systematic, this game. People say, oh, slow down. What interest, what interests me about this game in particular is that every action has the exact same weight to it. So a lot of these games, what they do is you'll have like, you can move one to turn and then you can attack one to turn. That's like what this guy does, that's what a lot of them do. 
And moving is like, oh, you can move so many spaces away and then you can do it in one attack. But in this game, it's more like every turn you have an amount of sub-turns and moving one space has as much weight as doing one attack. So say like Baldwin here has three sub-turns, I can make him attack three times or I can move three times or any... Oh, I know. Ugh, turn, turn based. <laughs> yeah, so I move him once. I can attack with him twice now. Because he's got three sub turns. And he's bound. Which means he can't move. Although that means I'm just going to kill him outright anyway. I don't like the screen shake effect in this game. Oh, I know. When the screen shakes, it's like the entirety of the screen shakes, so even all the display shakes with it. It's not like just the area shakes, and also, when it does the shake, you can see like the black boundaries around the outside moving into frame. It's probably not as easy to see because I'm streaming and I've got the whole black boundary around the outside anyway. Yeah, I'll attack again. Oh, he's... I was going to say, is he almost out of MP? But no. He's got 9 MP, which to him is a lot because these moves only cost 1. Yeah. So I wonder if those guys are weak to Baldwin as well. I'm gonna give this a go. Oh, well, it was critical, so I didn't really get to see. Uh, see, I'm weak to defend with her because she's weak to those guys. So, in this game also, you have um, like characters and enemies a weakness, like the weaknesses are to each other, you don't have like elements, like fire and ice and all that. Rather you have weapon types, but really it boils down to um, characters and enemies. This game was number 19. Yeah, I do. This is one of my favourite games of all time. She is not doing good there. I absolutely agree. Oh, and he's bound, but I'll still defend. Yeah, lots of, like, inventory management and stuff in this game as well. Getting a lot of these apples. Uh, I suppose so. It's kind of like the six-way system. I'm just going to move and defend with her. Oh, that guy's bound, so there's nothing he can do. This is like a ranged attack. Yeah, so when they deal the damage... If it's an orange number... I'll just defend. If it's an orange number, it means they resist it, and if it's a blue number, it means they were weak against it. So I'll see if I can find it. Um, tutorials. 
Is this it? No, that's not it. No, there's something here. Oh no, it's obviously not that. Battle tutorial. No. Now where is it? No, it tells you somewhere. I don't know where. But if you look at the enemies there, like where it says defeated seven, underneath that, there's a symbol which tells you what weapon type it is. Now, I'm sure there's meant to be like a tutorial somewhere that tells you the cycle of what's strong against what, because there's six weapon categories. One for each character that you get in the game. That wasn't there, was it? No. No, I don't know. Anyway, has enough time passed for me to use Fruit Rain again? No, one more hour. I'm not gonna fight those. Right, see this guy's guarding a chest, so I wanna know what that is. Right, fruit rain. Yeah, there is a food mechanic in this game as well. Ah. Yeah. And also you've got different categories of weapon inventory spaces. So here I've got 26. Hold on. All right, I have, I have, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, the, the f people complain about it, but it's really, I think it's really neat because a lot of this, it's not hard to keep, to keep your characters well fed. It's just a case of managing your food. It's more, to, it's more like, in my mind, it's more like you use the food as a means of making profit. Because you can, like, Trisha just uses a spell there that gives you food. And, like, the more you use it, the more powerful it gets. But look, you've got recovery items. I've got 26 slots here. And you can upgrade how many inventory slots you have. And, where is it? Misc items. So here I've got, like, all my food. I've got apples, carrots, a bun and some melons. And I've got these temporary stat boosts. But yeah, I forget how much these cost, because you got to think about, for example, exactly, yeah, that's, that is what you do, you sell them. So I've got apples here, I think they sell for one gold and carrots sell for two, but carrots recover 10% of hunger and apples recover one, so oh, it's better to use apples and sell the carrots. I mean, my memory's not exactly on point here. Yeah, I'll leave that for now. So yeah, you have to buy items that you can use to upgrade your inventory and it costs more money to do that every time. But you can reach the point where you've got like over a hundred or I think I think I once saw a video where someone had like a thousand spaces for healing items or something like that. Or at least like 900 or so. Yeah, you also get items in, like, a variety of different types. So you get potions which cure health, for example. 
but you also get nectar, which cures health, but as a percentage. I'm just gonna kill this guy straight up. I may as well defend. I'm gonna do another one on this guy. After this battle, I will show an example of the different types of potions and stuff. I mean, I don't have that much overall. Yeah, and these ones here are materials you use to upgrade your weapons and armor. And that's its own system as well. You've got to, everything you've got to manage in this game. That's what I really love about it. Not really. Doesn't make much of a difference to me. You do... I don't know the exact criteria, but... You can unlock the ability to skip them. But I think you have to use them so many times. But they're pretty quick and simple, I find. And I'm going to defend. Yeah, see those orange numbers? That means she's got resistance to the skeletons. And in turn, they're weak to her attacks. So I'm going to take out this guy. And then I'm going to use the... Oh, she's low on health. Oh... Right, and I'm going to use an item. As you can see here, small portion. Small portions aren't the smallest of portions. You actually get tiny portions and then small portions. And then eventually you can upgrade to portion, like a regular portion. And it just, there's so many different stages. Like large portion and super portion and hyper portion. Or oh, huge portion, I forget the exact names of them. But you do get very very many different tiers of items so say like potions for example potions cure a set amount of health and nectar as I've described cures uh, a set amount of percentage of health and so it really becomes a balancing act because what you have to remember is that nectar is more expensive than portions in in general but also as you level up you level up the nectar with it because you increase its effectiveness so there's that whole balancing thing going on as well but yeah I have to spend her last turn to heal rather than defending but I could just wipe these guys out I think uh, well not quite but that's fair enough Yes, yeah, I had to do that. Yeah, I'm going to knock him back. Actually, I'm just going to step away. Yeah, her job is just to move as far away as possible. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just gone to attack and then picked it up with Baldrin. And she's almost out of MP again. Oh, but I killed him. See, so, yeah, I really love this game. The key remain. The big face. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'll just move away with Trisha. I'm not gonna let her get involved. Also, when you level up in this game, you don't get stuff straight away. You have to uh, sort of buy them. Oh, she's poisoned. How lovely. He's poisoned. I keep misgendering all my characters this, this stream for some reason. Uh, oh yeah, the poison. And he's weak to those bees. Oh, I should have attacked again. <laughs> I know. What does shitlord, like, supposed to mean? Right, I'm just gonna do a long range attack from here. Not enough mana. Right, there we go. Uh, you can see there, under where it says the character's levels and stuff. Underneath, there's like a purple circle with plus a number. That's dependent on when they kill enemies, they get pearls. And you spend those pearls in order to get the level ups. So I'm not going to fight anything, I'm just going to hopefully not accidentally press X. And how long to my next fruit reign? Oh, she's not enough MP anyway, never mind. Right. Heal. Heal health. Heal MP and heal my poison. Yeah, so here, for example, is the Savant. So you have to spend those pearls on increasing your stats. And leveling up increases the cap of those stats. So I always max out those three. Defense, I'm never sure about. HP and MP, you should just not bother with at all because it's just ridiculously weak. <laughs> Item shop, right. Okay, now I can sell. Yeah, you can see here. So, you've got to really think about the value. So, apples heal 9% but sell for 1. And carrots heal 10% but sell for 2. So, carrots are, carrots are definitely the ones you should try to sell if you can. Oh, right. Okay. Probably. It's just a term I've heard used every now and then. See, buns sell for the same amount of carrots, but they heal 2% more. And melons heal 14%, but they sell for 3. So melons definitely better to sell. I'll sell that one as well. Thank you. Actually, let's have a look at what there is to buy. 
Yeah, I don't bother buying food because I can just create it. See, there, recovery expander. If I use one of those, it will increase how many recovery items I can have at once by two. But the more of those that I buy, the more expensive they become. So it's currently at 230 gold. Or rainbow coins, as the game calls it. Paying 1% more HP heal. Paying 1G. Oh, yeah, yeah, you mean if you're selling the fruit. It's not HP, it's hunger. Because if I go here... As you can see, hit points there, 203, and then further down in the status screen, I've got that the icon of bread. That's how much, that's how full I am. Okay. Here's another thing as well. So these are the equipments that I have. Yeah, it is a good deal. That's that's the way that people will say, for example, that like, oh, you got to keep your characters well fed. Oh, it's so annoying. But really, it's all about using that as a business. That's that's the best way to look at it. Think of it as like a business that you got to run. Because you can produce more food than, than you need to eat. So... That's... The, the trouble comes in, in managing your inventory and, and all that. Because obviously you want the... You want the overall weaker food to use. But a byproduct of that is that it's going to fill up your inventory more if you stockpile it because you're going to have to have more of it. Right. So here's another thing. Here's, uh, here is my equipment. So you get weapon, a hat, and body, and then you get two amulets. But you can't equip amulets straight away. You have to buy licenses. What gold is a fortune in this game? I'm not sure, I'm not sure I understand the question. Like, how much is... How much do you get where it's officially, like, tons and tons and tons? Uh, I'm not sure. But, anyway, I'll, I'll go to explaining this. And if you need to reword that question, then you can in the meantime. Oh, oh, I can't remember. I think... I think it's possible to get into the millions, but I think... And this is just a rough guess because I honestly can't remember at all what the end, what the end game is in terms of money. Uh, maybe tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands? I honestly can't remember. Right, these... If I press triangle... Oh, I've got different characters here. As you can see, it has their 0 out of 3, 0 out of 2, 0 out of 2, and 4 out of 5. Every weapon has an amount of materials that you can fix onto it. So, so here, this stick of mystery plus, stick of misery plus rather, you can stick three materials onto it. Now you can't take materials off once you put them back on. So if you want to do it differently, you have to buy another stick of misery, misery plus. But see, like here, four out of five. That means I've stuck four materials onto it out of five. 
and you have to do this all at a blacksmith. And the materials, if I've got a misc items. Oh no. Uh, materials, yeah, here you are. Yeah, you get space for loads of materials. I'm gonna start these. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, it does very much depend on the game. Like in a Disguise game, money becomes just no object at all. Like things will cost billions and it's like nothing. Now if you look at these materials here, as you can see it's got stat boost onto it and that means that if you put that material onto an equipment it will add that to its stat bonus. So as you can see here, Imp Wing is plus 3 to health, Shear Wing is plus 1 to luck. Oh well, it, no, it does vary a bit so I've got a, some stronger Shear Wings here. And let's see what I've got. Yeah. Colourful Sting. Like, there's a really good Colourful Sting there. Plus 15 to health and plus 15 to luck. Oh yeah, and they also had conditions on as well. So like, passive abilities onto your weapons. So do I have... Oh, I know, right, okay, yeah. Yeah, some of this stuff is just to sell. I mean, I should do that, actually. Yeah. Forgot about that. The permanent to the equipment. <laughs> Welcome. But remember, you've got a limited amount that you can put onto the equipment. Right. Let's sell... Hold on, I'm just going to check. Will it... Yeah, that's fine. Just selling these things that are there to sell. Yeah, the start boosts are permanent to the equipment. Sort by type. Thank you. Right, how much money do I have now? 707. Welcome. See, now would probably be a good time to buy. Where is it? Of a recovery expander. So I'll buy that, and as you can see, its cost has gone up to 270. Thank you. So, recovery items, 1 out of 26. Now, if I, in my misc items, and I use a recovery expander, and now I go to my recovery inventory slots. See, now I've got 28, so I can hold 28 recovery items. And I have seen, I think I've seen a video where it has gone into like 900 or so. As in, the weapon stat boosting. Yeah, it's kind of the same apart from nowhere near as obtuse and limited. But... Oh, yeah, as you can see there, that's got the sniper on because of the thing that it's had the, the thing put onto it. Now, oh, absolutely. Now, as you can see, four out of five on the, on the glittering something there means I've put four materials onto it and I can put one more onto it before I won't be able to put any more onto it. The amulet tend to not have any... I think there's some exceptions. This is based off my memory here. I think there's some exceptions but the thing is with amulets is that they usually don't start with anything. You just have to... They just have more spaces for upgrades. Right, okay. I'll continue that when I get when you get back. I'll just continue on. Ah, I think that was the key I needed to get up here. Oh, I'm 
one second. Haste, uh, not what I like to see. Uh. Right, fine. Use a pen for lamb. Oh no, that's that thing there. So what was that key that I got? Key remain. Right, I'm going to. Can I fruit rent? No, one more hour. So, 8.31. I shall give it a go. Ah, oh, fine. I'll just kill this guy. Are these guys weak to Baldrin? forget now where am I going Right, okay, chances are I do have to go this way. Th no! No! I forget who's weak against what. Not that it really matters because this thing's going to die. At least it doesn't matter if I so much for now. And Earth Crusher! Earth Crusher! Earth Crusher! <laughs> defend, defend. Attack. <laughs> I know what that sounds like. <laughs> the Ghostbusters thing. Drink that. Oh. Skill. Shit, before I do that, let's use these items. And now, Fruit Rain.
Yeah, these guys are weak against Trisha, aren't they? Oh, yes, they are. Yeah, and Desero, you can kill that one. Yeah, and kill it in two turns. Have I not gone down this of it? Oh. There's nothing there. How long till... Five hours, okay. So, 17. I don't know how high the day goes. In this game. Right, just gonna attack this guy. I'm gonna actually have a look. I know the days mean something, like things change on the different days, but I'm not entirely sure how that works. So I'm gonna do. Yeah, day bonuses. Oh, they're, of course, they're strong against that attack, aren't they? We're on Moon Day at the moment. So is it Moon Day? So we get more, more Rainbow Pearls. Probably kill this in two more turns. And it's slowed down. That's nice. Do you know what? Do a shield bash. Hello! I was just doing like a check on the different days because this game has a like a four day a week cycle so today's moon day which means you get more rainbow pearls for defeating enemies so yeah, there's ambrosia day moon day holy day and beast day aha nice so yeah ambrosia day you maintain your hunger help easier moon day means you get more moon pearls rainbow pearls rather Holy Day means your abilities do more damage, and Beast Day means enemies are weaker. Oh, another key. It's been a while since I played this game, so I have actually no idea what's led me to be in this, this dungeon to begin with. Yeah, painful end this guy. Yeah, I remember I was going to say that when you get to the end game and you have like the ultimate amulets and all that, I think you can get an amulet with 99 slots on, so you, that means you can stick 99 different materials on it. So obviously you're going to have to really think about what those 99 are going to be. Because it's going to take a lot of effort to max that out. And it's going to really cost a lot. 
and you don't want to have to do a redo. I like that idea. Generally, I think generally speaking, as a general rule for games, the more powerful something is, the more complicated it should be to use. What, did I not explore the entirety of this area? I can't use Fruit Rain again, can I? No, three hours. For 1713. Now, she's strong against these guys, so I'm going to try to at least get in range so I can do some damage because she's only got two sub turns, so I can't let her do much if I've got to move her around a lot. Can I get this guy? I can indeed. Yeah, don't care. I'm just going to pick this up. I know it gets a free hit on me, but I wanted to pick it up. Victory! Instinct over intellect. Also in this game you get a lot of areas that have end game type areas within them. Yeah, I'll fight these bad bees. And I'm fighting all of these battles. I'll probably stop after this one. Because I need to find my bearings. Because I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. I suppose it also kind of depends on what enemies I'm fighting. Because those bees are alright. It don't take much effort to kill. Ba da ba ba ba. Right, and Baldwin's out of MP. How lovely. Right, I'll just head this way. Hey, heal everybody up. Probably can't make much use of this advantage. I don't think anyone's leveled up. Oh, Trisha has. Oh, and does Zero have? Okay then. I'll spend one on defense for Trisha. I'll spend two for Baldrin. Right. Did you get my bearings? I 
can't remember. Hold on. Oh no, I've done that. Yeah, see those books there? That's like end game stuff going on. I just can't go back there yet because there's a force field somewhere in this level. You know what? I'm going to... Oh, okay. I guess w w one of the items I found was what I needed to to find. Ah, oh, there you go. Yes, there you go. Yeah, you can have that as well. The big face thing. Ten well, Kelly. I didn't see that. Yeah. Right, where am I going now? Ah, back up there. Oh, this is the battle music I like. I don't have I don't have any wide range attacks that can hit lots of enemies at once. Oh, but these guys are all easy by the looks of it, so that should be fine. Oh yeah, that's fine. Move forward one, and then you can hit two of them. Yeah, when you get far into this game, you start encountering huge quantities of enemies in single battle. I'm talking like 30 to 40. When you get the proper boat, like I've got a, like a raft at the moment, but towards the end you get a boat that can go on all of the water. And... You start entering battles with so many enemies on that boat. But weak enemies are also good for getting pearls, because pearls are based on kills. So if you have a character who's a high level but hasn't been able to get many pearls, you can go back to weak areas, kill en weak enemies with them, and they can get a lot of pearls. Oh, they've all now- oh no, not anymore, they haven't. Look, I say they lined up nice and perfectly for me to use a- right, okay. They lined up all nice and perfectly for me to use a certain attack on them. The Earthshaker. Oh, I love this music. Now I won't be able to kill it this turn. Right, just do a shield bash on this guy. Oh, she's in quite a bit of trouble. But I'm going to have to defend. Oh, of course. Run away. There's only these two guys left.
Well, I can't attack him because... I'm too close. Doesn't fall within the range. Was that gonna poison me? Oh, no! Why? It's annoying. So weak, but then... You know, you can do poison. Right, antidote. Oh, hello there. Now he said go to the shop. Oh, the network guy. Oh, scroll shop. I wonder if I've got any more scrolls for me. I should probably do fruit rain. And let's sell. All these carrots and these melons. Thank you. <laughs> and what can I buy? Ooh, nectar! Ah, oh, come back, come back! I want to show you the nectar! Right, what scrolls do you have? Ooh. Plus 12% strength for each- Oh, I don't like those adjacent ones. Haste. Oh, that's expensive. Oh, that's a good one. I like it. Can't afford it. Doesn't show you what those fight patterns are. Right, I'll do it. Okay, yep. Yeah. Hello! I've just got back to the village and the way the shops work in this game is that all of the shops sort of level up as you progress through the story. So as you can see all these new items have come in here. So these are the scrolls and I mean to me what what makes this difficult for me is that I'm so used to the different colours of Final Fantasy VII materia that seeing these ones I have to sort of readjust myself. So in this game the blue scrolls are things you just use that have a global effect. For example, recovery expanders and amulet licenses that I've mentioned to you before. See, as you can see, amulet licenses there cost quite a lot. Green ones are passive skills that you equip to your characters. So, like stat boosts and stuff like that. And the red ones are ones that they use. And I have just bought... where is it? 
fist slapper. Yeah, that's it. No, that's not it. Yeah, that one piercing charge. I've got to use it, don't I? I bought that one for Dozero because it has a, a horizontal bar in its range. And you can hit up to three enemies. I remember that is really good. It can take up quite a lot. I mean, it takes up twice as much MP as his other ones, but still, it is really nice. And it's got quite a bit of flexibility to it as well. These yellow ones are abilities that you can only use outside of battle. So fruit rain, as you know, that's how you like manifest your own fruit. And, okay, I'm going to use those items. Piercing charge. No, I've got to switch to, to zero. Right, so the zero has piercing charge now. Oh, yeah, I should have showed you these as well. Passive skills. Yeah, yeah you can equip passive skills. So, only trish has got one there. As you can see, she has three out of five SP available. If I take that off, she has five out of five because that costs two. Right. Also, Welcome. right. Okay. Oh, she wants those. Goodbye. So that's like a side quest, I guess. I wanted to show you because I was telling you about this before, and I've now unlocked it. If I go to the item shop here, Welcome. nectar. So as you can see, small portion, it costs 18 gold and that recovers 100 health. Nectar costs 35 gold, so that's almost double and it recovers 50% of your health. Now look at where I am at the moment, if I go to my stats, 100 health, for, like, for these two characters here, 100 health is m more than half. For Baldwin it's slightly less than half. So when my characters reach right well think of it this way. Uh, there's more to it than this but think of it this way. Nectar costs twice as much as a small portion so it should be twice as valuable. Of course there's more stuff to go on going on with inventory space and everything and timing and everything but let's just focus on this for now. So if Baldwin gets to 400 health the nectar will be twice as powerful as a small portion and it maintains its twice as, twice as expensive cost. So when I get to 400 health with Baldwin or with any character rather Nec the value of nectar will overtake the value of a small portion. And so, because small portions are more valuable now, it's more tempting to stock up on small portions. I mean, I, I've got loads of small portions here already. But it's more tempting to stock up on the small portions. Now, if I do that for too long, I risk holding on to them for longer than it's viable to the point where nectar, the small nectar becomes more potent and more effective in its ability. So, I am going to have to be careful to not overstock but stock too much at a certain point. Oh, I I know who that is, I think. I'm guessing I'm guessing the joke is something along the lines of No, I might need it later. But it doesn't sound familiar, that particular video. But this is what I love this is one of the things this is what I love. I this is one of the things I love about this game. Just how 
everything, like every little thing, needs to be keeping this balance. <laughs> I love this management. I love, like, if it wasn't for the limited inventory space, that thing wouldn't really be an issue. Um, because, like I've said, Nectar, for now, is strictly worse than a portion. But knowing that my health will grow and it will become better than a portion and even better further on, the value increases over time so you've got this internal battle going on of oh something that's better for me or something that will get better over time but I can buy that later but will I be near a shop at the time so it's all these things I I, I, I absolutely love it and I also like how it introduces it to you as well. So, for example, it introduces the, the small nectar to you now. When it's not an absolute horrendous rip-off. But it introduces it to you now when it's sort of like, Oh yes, that will be good eventually. And I think that is a really... I think things that make you think about things are more effective and better than things that just make you think yeah that's really good do you know what I mean if it wasn't for the fact that that's rubbish now it wouldn't be interesting the idea that it's a lot better later on well, let's go see what items I'm gonna have to sell Yeah, not many. Thank you. All right. So here's the blacksmith. This is where you add materials to your your equipment. So see here, this is doing something. It's got space for one more. So here, it's got my list of materials that I can add to it. And that will add it to permanent stat boost for that item. Yeah, yeah. Natural swallows. Right. The almost sword. I can afford both of them. I think I shall buy that. Hello there, Fran. How is the Franek? I've never actually said your full, n your like your name out loud, so I I just imagine Franek or Franek. I don't know. Hold on. What does? All right. Really? I remember you saying that English people don't don't pronounce it right. But I guess I am an exception. Oh, or maybe my memory of you saying that was wrong.
Right. It's the I imagine it's the S and the Z. So that could be like a Z sound. I imagine I imagine most people say that, and they say Francis Egg. Like Francis, but with Zek at the end. Oh, Frankishek. Frankishek? Frankishek. Frankishek. Right. Frenchies check. Don't know why I'm doing that. Do you ever do that in games where there's you just you do stuff just because just for no reason, like just then I just, I just went. I like scrolling in time the music. So here's what I'm thinking. This... This weapon here... My luck is so much higher. Is that because I've got a... St oh, I'm gonna have a check that. Uh, equip. Oh yeah, it's got plus 20 luck. I'm going to keep that one. Let's have a look at the armor. Oh, whoo. Franchisek. 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 Yeah, I know what you mean with the hard zh. I think I, I think that's right. The z. There is no like English equivalent. Fran. Oh. <laughs> that's been a murder. I, I I don't know Russian. Oh, of course. I've, I mean, I've been I'm not I've been calling you Francis to start anyway. A lot of these things. I'm not sure if they're worth it. Uh, who's that for? Yeah, fine, I'll buy that one. Oh. Well, a lot of things are thanks to Mule, if we're honest, the whole... We, w we wouldn't be talking about Mel B and Devil, would we, if it wasn't for Mule? Oh, you bastards! Now, nah, mate, you dickheads. Right, I definitely... Whoa, 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 no, no, no. I think it's rather imperative I get this one. And then I'm almost out of money. So... Right, what was I doing? You! Equip that. And that one there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll leave that like that for now. Oh, of course, the inn. You know, I haven't saved yet this stream. By the way, friend, I don't know if you've seen, but I made myself a new logo. And I really like it as well. Oh, I can't. See, I can't do that. I can't have a phone with like 10% battery on. You all see screenshots of peop that people take from their phone where it's like 2% battery or something like that. And I, I just, I just think to myself, I don't, I don't know how you can live like that. I like the old one too, but. I was thinking that the image, like the smoke that was in a circle, that was just something I got from Google Images, so I thought I should probably, you know, make something proper of myself, because I don't feel confident putting the, the old one, I didn't feel confident putting that on something like Level Upland, for example, but this new one, I can. Well, you know, I actually was debating with myself about that background because I think, by the way, the game auto pauses if you leave it on for too long without doing anything. Because the game has a trophy for playing for a hundred hours, it doesn't want you cheating it. Um, yeah, I was I was thinking about like having a transparent background and depending on the context, like for example with the video thumbnails, obviously I'm going to use that logo in the same like position and everything to continue on the same theme across the videos I upload. But I was wondering whether or not I should keep the black background in or not. And I think, I think the black background look looks worse on an individual basis like any any particular video thumbnail it looks better without it but on a whole I think seeing all the videos with that background works because it makes it stand out and more recognizable No, I like, I do like it, I like it the way that it is at the moment. I know. I know, because you've got like different icons and stuff, don't you? Right, I'm just trying to think. Uh, wasn't that long since the last use of Fruit Rain, was it? Oh no, I've got another four hours to go for that. Right, where am I going? All the way up there. Yes! I am playing. This is the second best battle theme in this game. This one's called Crossing Blades. And the one I like more is called No Sound of Reason. No Sound of Reason.
Was that like a Buster Move type of thing? Not bust, uh, Buster Move, Buster Groove. Yeah, shooting bubbles. Bubble Bubble, Buster Move, that whole thing. Yeah, I never played that one. I know it's one of those things that has a cultural significance, but I never played it. See, these enemies are so weak now that I'm getting loads of turns before the enemy's getting any. Gonna use a regular attack. Well, that was rubbish. I'm not gonna get much experience. 71. Right, are you blocking something there? Yeah, probably. This is the belt music I like. Da, 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 da. Oh, didn't cut it straight up. I think those golems are weak to Twisher as well. Oh, lovely, lovely poison. You can attack this guy. Bam ba bam ba da bam. Might be able to use Dozero's new ability I got for him. I think they're lined up properly. Piercing charge. Yep. I love this ability. It's got just the right amount of flexibility and just a decent enough attacking space. It is Ambrosia Day, which means my characters won't get as hungry. Okay, do I have an antidote flask? I've only got two. Oh, wrong character. <sighs> Water bottles. Yeah, I just use those straight out the bag. Zero has fainted. I velocity eleven blacked out. What am I doing? Skill. Two hours, okay. So at twelve something. Who? How have I not picked up these bags before? Two. Oh. I got to leave it. I have to leave that one there. Out of space. Right. I'm gonna see what's in this chest here. Ah, oh, lots of enemies. Although a lot of those are probably weak, if I'm honest. Attack the skeletons with Trisha. Yes, they're far away, but she's strong against them, so I'll do that. Oh, 
some of those enemies are really nicely lined up for Desiru's attack. I think that's like the first imp in the game. Right, I won't be able to... No. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it once, but fair enough. And get all three of them. Poisoned again? See, I've stocked up on so many of the small potions, but the antidote flasks is what I'm starting to need. Just because these guys keep poisoning me. And of course, when the enemy is a weak, poisoning is very much to their advantage. Because it's percentage based. So Fran, you probably missed it because it was bef I think it was before you were you were in here, but I was saying earlier about how I've reached a point now where the shops start selling nectar. And nectar is like portions, but the difference being is that they cure a percentage of your health rather than a flat amount. And they start off really ineffective because it's like 18, 18 coins to get a small portion which cures 100 health. And it's double the amount of money for Nectar that cures half of your health. Basically, okay, I'm going to put this into level up land terminology here. Think of heal versus recover. Recover at the start is pretty... Yes! Recover! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you're telling me to recover or if you're making that comparison yourself. There's so much... Hold on, I'm going to go to the Twitch page because I don't know what the difference is in lag. Yeah, it's the equivalent of the thing of like recover and level up land. I mean, you don't want recovers when you've got 30 health. I mean, think of that. When when you at the very start of the game, recover is like the weakest healing spell in the entire game. Or maybe restore. Right, see I could heal up but I've got an opportunity to do two of these attacks here. Yeah, the only spell in the game which is just flat out good all round. Even against dragon, well, no, no, not this is, well. It, it's okay against dragons. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, In I love Inferno. Because if you think about it in a way, how long, wait, by the time you get Inferno, how long has it been since you've gotten a spell that is just flat out, oh, does a lot of damage? 
because you get blast relatively early and then when you look at death and twist yeah they do a lot of damage but there's a lot of conditions there and yes inferno does have very minor conditions to it it is mostly just yeah yeah just does shit load of damage yeah just one hit kills right well he's out of MP so I've only got <laughs> I know what you mean that's the main thing Imagine using twists on rats. Pure Lavender Tempest won't have a clue what we're talking about. Uh, just can't get in there. You know, I'm not going to bother fighting. I'm just going to go around. It's probably going to be a load of rubbish, but I want to get all this treasure here. Do I have it? I don't have any more, do I? Okay. I'll use a tiny portion. No, I'll use a small portion because I've got so much in terms of portions and stuff. See, another thing that's unintuitive. To some people, in fact, I imagine it would be intuitive to a lot of people. But in a way, having limited inventory space can make it easier for you to use more items. Because if something takes up space, like with the portions there, it's sort of like, well, I'm going to have to replace them soon anyway. So my requirements. It's like you've got a varying degree of. Just a few reviews. I think I think the game the game has been given two ratings. I'm assuming one of them is you, but yeah, my my three star rating average I'm almost certain comes from one one star review and one five star review. Ooh, a turtle. Yeah, these these animals you find are permanent stat boosts. Can I get a thingy? Yeah, let's use, use the water bottle and I'll pick up the carrot. Now. Oh, oh poison! <sighs> Five stars. I saw, uh, I was listening to a podcast yesterday, and, hold on, yes, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, it, I, I can without a doubt say it would have been him, and, uh, yeah, I was listening to a podcast yesterday, oh, I was going to check, see if I could use Fruit Rain. Yes, I can. Right. You have an apple. You have an apple. And then just gonna sell those. Do these these must respawn. Oh no! Of course, that was the small portion that I couldn't pick up before. Right, time to heal. Yeah, what I was saying was, I was listening to a podcast yesterday, and they were saying, is it possible to have a fear of fairies? And in my mind, I was thinking, well, 
If they played, if they played level up land, then there's a chance that they might. Frank, you need to charge your phone. What are you doing on three percent? Right, let's have a look. I might have to actually sell some small potions, I don't want to do. How much does it cost to buy them? It costs five to buy them and, t and four. Oh, no, it's 18. Uh, it's a big difference. Especially compared to tiny potions, it makes a bigger difference. See, most games have a flat percentage difference. Charge your phone, find that charger. Find a thingy, a socket. Unless you are charging it and watching the stream just drains it more because it can't keep up with it. Right. What do I have left? I have no spaces left, so I'm going to sell some stuff. Uh... Right. Sell the tiny potion. I can't really make much use of those now. They're pretty much out of my out of my bounds of usefulness. Selling stuff makes me feel like I've done this so inefficiently. Thank you. Welcome. Right. I want to get one of those. Protection flask. Antidote flask. Oh, they're so cheap. Antidote flasks are so cheap. I, I just bought all the stuff that I could there. Thank you. Right. How long till the next fruit rain? Five hours. Three percent. Right. I'm guessing you got it on charge then. Yes. Where am I going? All the way around this way. Weak enemies that can poison are quite annoying. I can't any more of them, can I? No, they're all out of range. Are they still? Oh no, this one was never out of range. That one there. I'm silly. Probably kill two of them. No, why? Do, I hate when it does that. I don't know why it does that. But every now and then it will just. 
You select move, and by selecting move, it will automatically just move in a direction. Right, I can't be bothered fighting you, so just go past me. Small portion! Right, you can drink the water. I'll just leave the portion there. Yeah, I think I've come through the wrong way. I think I'm meant to go around this way. A heat penetrates my body, ooh. So is your phone on charge then? Ah oh, yeah. Cure all that I can. Right. One more hour. I do... I would like it if there was a way of... Actually, hold on. Yes, let's camp. Yeah, that's fine. I know one of the things I do is... A tissue. Okay, then. Oh, Fruit Rain must have leveled up. I'm getting much more. Right, okay. Yeah, so Fruit Rain's leveled up, so now I get an extra apple for f using Fruit Rain. Tis alright. Aha! Managed to eat all those apples. Just gonna try to avoid all these guys. Aha, there you are. Now, do we get. No, we don't get them yet, do we? No, is this the. Okay, I th I've got a feeling that this isn't the place I'm meant to be. Ah. Oh. oh, it was this way, wasn't it? No. Oh, I'm going to check the main quest thing. Right, to open the door in Castle Temwall, so you can now search for Grodd's Mojo in the basement. As soon as you have found it, return to Grodd. Oh, oh bleh. Fine. And the merchants have new goods. Yes, I know that. Oh, a new tutorial. What is this new tutorial? Ah, oh, defeat camping, tavern dungeon. There's all those ones that I didn't see. I'm sort of sitting in a rather strange position. Oh, hold on. So I'm not meant to go to Garodo yet then. So I've been sent the wrong way.
do 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 Where is Castle Tamwell? I, I don't understand. I've done this before, but I'm gonna. Where is Castle Tamwell? Ah, right in the other direction. Fair enough then. Right, hold on, I should be back one moment. Turns out, it's not Castle Tem... Tamwell. It's Castle Temwell. Oh, hello, is there a scroll shop here? Did I just miss this before? Have you got anything new? Well, oh, it's the same as that other one. Haste. Is there any... Hmm... Yeah, I can't afford it anyway, never mind. I like what I, I like with this game is that you do find things that you can't afford. Oh, hello, what's this? Red mushroom? This looks like a new area. Who has magic light? Good. Right. Found a medal! Yay! I don't remember what the significance of those medals is. Oh, there's some guy on one of the islands that gives you something for them, I think. I was at check fruit rain. Oh, I'm lagging a bit behind on the fruit rain. Oh, I can't. Oh. I'm gonna have to go to a shop. you all right gonna take out all these bees sun is shining through was it the equinox yesterday by the way I think it it was Hold on. He's doing a search. Oh, it's today! It 
It is the equinox today. Yay! I do like the autumnal equinox. Crossbow has to start behind a load of garbage. Step one step forward. Oh, but he's weak against those guys, so it doesn't make much... Well, killed one of them, but it doesn't make much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. <sighs> Baldwin's kind of just hanging out in the back there. I need to get to a shop. That's my main thing. I think there's a shop behind here. Yeah, there's an item shop. Right, because I need to sell. Oh, I've got loads more apples. Oh, okay. I didn't know I had all those apples. I'm going to have to start eating them. But sell all this other stuff. Selling that side of the flask. Thank you. Yep, and you're exactly the same. Okay, gonna Thank you. open up the menu and see who can benefit. Aha, they can both benefit from having an apple. It won't max them out. looks so weird. I can't tell if it's meant to be like a rope or a beehive, but it just sticks out so much. Right, that back one looks more powerful, so I'm going to focus on him more. She's not very good against these, is she? Oh, she's average. Yeah, and then just attack these ones. And you can probably kill this one just instantly. Yeah, very easily. Very, very well done. Yeah, pitiful experience. Now what is this? I can't even get to it. Oh, hello. What is this? Ah, it's simple torches. Yeah, some easy enemies falling in my way here. In my way here. Two bad bees. Oh dear. However, will I defeat them? By hitting them twice. That's how I'll defeat them. I hit you with no, just out of range, but that's okay. Take a step back and hit you from a distance. You bastard, you! Right, okay, Fran. Again with the portions. <sighs> I 
Yeah, I really bought too many of those potions before, didn't I? Uh huh. What is the timer on fruit rain? Five hours. I was trying to sneak behind it like I was playing Setsuna again. I almost killed it. Almost, but almost isn't good enough. A lot of these guys are dropping treasure. Oh yeah, of course. Oh. Never mind. I'm just going to defend because I don't want to use 2 MP to with the zero to just attack one one enemy yeah and regular attack she's just going to be getting quite a few pulls from all these skeleton guys yeah and just regular attack So many potions and stuff. Right. That's a bit. Oh, honeycomb. Right, okay, I see. Is that the place I think it is? She's almost out of MP. Right, do you? Yes, you are. I wasn't sure if it was Baldwin or Desiree that had this attack, but do the enemies lined up all nice? In such a way that I could, I could kill them. Now, what does Holy Day do? I honestly don't know. Yeah, face lap. No, no, not quite. I have to use this maybe twice. Or if this kills them both, I might defend. No, yeah, I'll use it one more time. I would like to pick up those coins, well, those bags, because coins are nice. And it's not like you get an absolute abundance of them, so I, I would value them very much so. I mean, it's only three there, but couldn't it be more? Oh, oh, very nice, very nice, nice lined up. Oh, I've only got two MP, though. Right, if this doesn't kill them, which it probably won't, tiny herbs, then do it again. Do I have any tiny herbs, or do I have to use a small one? 
Oh no, I've still got some tiny ones. Yeah, tiny ones is all he needs. Oh, I love this game. Right, is this... Where is this? This is the dungeon. Okay. You might be a bit of a problem. No, I'm not. I'm not in a good place to use to fight enemies. I'm just gonna have to ignore those battles. Oh, hello, bag. Oh, portion. Uh. Oh, of course. Yeah, I could pick that up before. Get one skeleton, one poison imp. Sure. I don't know how that helps, but it's what I did, I suppose. And just smash this guy in the face, why don't you? I ideally need to get to a savant as well. You're not a savant. Right. Fruit rain. Yep. I can just keep that for now. Where was the nearest savant? I've got to go back to the village. Is there a savant in the village? Yes, there is. You know what? I think the closest one might be in this cave, actually. Wait, what? This is Castle Tenwall. Where was it? Oh. Right, so this is where I have to be. The bit I was all along. Right, it's gonna have a a good old survey. I shall be right back.
And I am also back. Having to wrap up a bit because I'm quite cold. I've just noticed like by standing at this spot, my target is switching between the savant and the healer. Even though I'm not moving. So if I timed my express incorrectly, I might end up talking to the wrong the wrong person. So it turned out that the place that I was looking for was the place I was in the beginning. And I now have the key now, I can't go past, see, past there, the dematerializer. You need an end game item, like something you get very late in order to be able to bypass those. So those enemies behind there are going to be really powerful. Yes, right. Finally, I can progress. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just fight these guys. I'm not going to spend the time trying to get out, trying to avoid you. Oh, I just remembered these... These guys like to split up. Now, who are they weak to? I forget. Not Trisha. But you can do a lot of damage with this attack. Right, the weak to does Eru. Mushroom. What's that do? Oh, that's just food. It just to see how much that sells for. Ooh, three of them this time. Ah, oh, not three gelatins. Uh, is he too close? He is, yes. Yeah, these guys like to duplicate themselves when you hit them sometimes. So I'm getting this music all the time in this area. Right, it's gonna speedy repost to get you hit and you're bound. Very nice. Not that it really matters though, because you're gonna die now anyway. An apple. Eat it straight away. Two more apples. Yep, yeah, that's easily done. See, I'm on track now. 
Right, I'm going to have to fight this guy and I'm not going to have a choice. Just two enemies at a time. It's probably going to be two of the Jartines, I, rem I imagine. Oh no! Oh yeah, they're weak. They're, they're strong against Trisha. Now can she kill it in this turn? No, she can't. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick that up. Frozen T sells for a decent amount. Oh, look. A healer, people, human beings. Can I fruit train? No, go wait three more hours. Oh, hold on. Oh! Right. Oh, no, no, no. I am think I was again mixed up there. But obviously that's to a different place, as you can see. I don't know. It's, I think it's meant to be like an archer's hat. Like Robin Hood. But she doesn't actually have that art in the game. Yeah, her avatar's wearing it, but she isn't. That's strange. You know what I was thinking of doing? Right, okay. Now, I have, and I started this at the end of 2016. I started doing, I started recording a series of level up land, and basically my goal was to check through them to make sure that all the stats and stuff I've put up on the videos is all accurate. Now, I did that at the end of 2016, and I've been extremely slowly going through it, and marking off the episode saying oh yeah that one's all perfect and everything but that was two years ago i've just i've just had no motivation oh okay i've just gone around in a circle there right okay that's a shortcut back i've just not gone back to like continue doing it And I feel like I really should, it's just, I don't know why I haven't. And I don't know what it's going to take, like sometimes I get into a mood like, right, I'm going to do it, then I'll check like two or three episodes, maybe, and then just, I just won't, it'll just leave my mind. I don't know why that is. And it's annoying because I did those videos two years ago, and I haven't continued playing since then. But what I was going to also say is that... Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's fair enough. I would like to do a proper playthrough with some of the challenge modes on. Ice cream van just passed by there. Oh, 
Oh, I don't like that those two are in a fight because that's not a fight that Trish is going to be very good at. See, I'm wondering how I would fare with weak mode, blind mode and battery mode on. I don't really have much interest in doing hard mode or permadeath mode. I'm just going to get her to move away and Baldwin to move a bit closer just to divert his attacks a bit. Oh, and Baldwin's bound. Oh, the same as poisoned, of course. Right. I've got an anti bound flask. Got quite a few. Of course, that takes up a turn. More apples. Because I think it would be interesting to go through and actually do the weak modes and all that. Goodbye. Oh, the things of have... Right. All my magic lights have worn out. So... You know, given that the lighting in the room is okay, you can actually get by pretty... not too bad without the magic, without the lights active. But... I'm just gonna spam magic light. Right, okay. Heal that up. I have no idea. It's not interest on anything, is it? Right. I don't know what the significance of magic light leveling up is. Don't know what it. Don't know if it lasts longer or or whatever. I'm just spamming it. Yep. Heal my mana. I'm gonna go back to spamming it again. Because Magic Light has a timer on it for like how long? Oh, I don't know. It might be one of those. Oh, well, no, they wouldn't do that, would they? I was going to think it was going to be one of those things where it's like, oh, open up a new account with us and we'll give you this, but usually it's only if you start off with so much. So yeah, the effects of these stack time-wise, but there's no cap on it. So you can't just... No, so you can just, like, stand in one spot and spam magic light. I was considering in Level Up Land removing, like, not having a cap for Explore. And I suppose... I suppose I could also do it for such as Swamp Walk and Lava Walk, but... Goodbye. I have no idea. You know, with Explore, I was really glad that you that you used it as much as you did because I was worried that explore yeah well I'm not changing the game now I think 
this is the last bout of magic lights. Right, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna. Right, okay. Now there's something down. No, it's just a bit of the map with nothing there. Fair enough. Hey, one hit KO. I make changes. I sup oh, I, I use this, the the software that I use game, was Game Maker Eight, whereas now and that was on an old on old laptop as well. One that's pretty busted now. So I mean, it might be possible to make changes. Multiple platforms. I don't think it's in the capabilities of the. The, the um, the software I was using. I would, I would love to be able to like sell a level of land. I did, I did it first. I did, I did for like up for a pound. I would love to be uh, the ability to like sell level up land and people to buy it and stuff. Problem is, is that no one cares. No, no one bought it. No, I had one person buy it. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. That that is absolutely true, and I, I know. I know it's true. No wrong ability. Earth Crusher. Oh yeah, that's down there, isn't it? That's the the end game area. Generally, when people play Level of Land, and this has been the case for almost every case here, they will play, die a few times. Declare the game is really, really hard and then give up. That's usually what happens. I had someone who started it, he said, Oh, yeah, this game is really hard, and then he sort of got into the flow of it.
Which is what I expected. See, oh yeah, see I killed him and he spawned two more of these these gelatins. Perfect. Perfect line up there. Yeah, people tend to run into eagles and fairies and they die. Right, now don't spit again. Good. Right, what's in this bag? Hardly anything. A bunch of small portions that once a... I'm just going to use one of those small portions on zero there. Too many small portions! Right, okay, see ya! Ba ba! I'm, I'm cute. You've got me curious about the beehive battle of music now. Yeah, I will do. If I remember, oh, I'll just have to remember to do so. Right, I want to collect all this treasure. Just move around, pick up this. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, hold on, I have a notification. Ah. Ah, okay. Is the Beehive Bedlam music from Fran? I'm gonna have a quick. I know I was about to do this on stream, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This would see listening to this. I don't think to myself, "Oh yeah, this is like that rainbow moon moon music." But I 
Is it like the music in the cave? Like this music here? Oh, I know what you mean, yeah. The do 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 do. Right, okay, I got it now. I was listening to the music, and I was like, I don't recognize this. Then I paused it and listened to this game again, and then it was like, oh yeah, the do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I can hear the similarity. Oh, tiny portion. It's no, it's no use. Oh. Hello there, Red Death. I take it you're a boss. Ten enemies. Uh, save. I believe I saved, but I got distracted, so I'm going to save on the third slot. As in, as if to say, like, I had two slots ready there, but I decided to pick another one. Right. Let's -a go. There's so many of these gelatins. Right. Attack this one. Right, he's slowed down, so I attack this back one. Alright, X-ray review. It doesn't cost a subturn to use this. Right, okay. Yeah, let's go for this guy here. I was thinking oh, I should probably just left those for Patricia. Oh well, never mind. Oh, he's bound, that's good. <sighs> now that's awkward. What has it got? <sighs> right, it's going to get bombarded, but I'm going to give it a go. Go all out aggressive. Probably gonna get hit for lords. Aha! Okay. So he's drawing against those blobs. Okay. I'll attack this one again. And I'm gonna have to defend. Because there's too much of a threat going on. Yeah, I am going to have to start really defending with these guys. Yeah, do that again and then defend. Oh, 
he's almost dead as well. Right, hopefully I can take a bunch of these guys out. Did a good job there. But, do I have a tiny herb? No, I'm gonna have to use a small herb. Oh, and definitely defend. Hydra Blade! Good! Defend! Oh, these, that big one keeps getting out the way. Right, we've got to attack this one twice and then defend. Oh, you had to split, didn't you? Right, just because Trish is drawing against them, you can go and help Desiree over there and then defend and defend well. Now, thank you for lining up like that, you blobs. You're now going to get the axe. Nice! Oh, for goodness sake! Right, he's running against those. So rather than defending, I'm just gonna get these two out of the way. They're probably gonna... they might respawn again, but... No, they didn't. I don't know if spawns can respawn. Yeah, this guy is as good as gone. So, pretty much... I always take it for granted that that's not going to happen and then it happens. Right, you're defending. Those bags work as a bit of a barrier. I'll take that. I'll keep that up, that barrier, for now. Right, get that big boss down. Can you? Yes, you can. Might just try and get two hits in. These, all these money bags are really built up a nice little wall here. It might be worth just spending a bit of time. It's keeping my distance. Not picking up those bags. I mean, I will. Pick, I do want to pick them up at some point, but if I can keep my distance and then just whittle his health down whilst not letting him attack me, that would really help. Only thing is, I've got one herb left. And I think I have to keep that for Dozeru. So this has got to be my last one of these. Okay. I don't like the situation with my lack of MP, but if I can get this guy to the brink of his own death, then that will help. 
But using those bags as a barrier is really being being good. Yeah, it's going to do regular attacks. Won't do much. Uh, not too bad, but, you know, it's something. And you can't do anything. How much, how much health does he have? I am going to have to x-ray him, so that I know exactly. Right, I'm going to take a chance and do this one more time. I don't want to leave all those bags unpicked up. Oh, well, he's dead. Oh, well, I got quite a lot. Well, I wanted to pick up those bags. I think I probably would have got some more if I picked up those bags, but... That was good. Right, is this the Mojo? Mojo of Torture, yes. I get a trophy for that. And now I pick up some small herbs. Yeah, I'm not fighting anything. But I will check to make sure that I can Fruit Rain. Oh, don't have any MP. And that leads me out. Ah, oh, I can't pick up those bananas. Um, I, to... I don't like this type of flask. Yeah, I'll just use these straight up. I'm going to have to come back. Where does this lead to? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go back and heal. Not fighting any of these guys, just want to go to this, the healing point. Yes! Can I make use of a savant? No, I can't. But I can sell a bunch of stuff. See, mushrooms are okay. I might, I might be better off holding on to mushrooms. Twenty-four for four. That's nine for one. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to mushrooms. I think. I mean, they're not great, are they? Yes, yeah, so that's 6% per one. That's 9% per one. So these have more value, not taking into account inventory space. I'll sell some mushrooms, I'll sell a couple. Right, let's get rid of a couple of those. So many small portions. I don't like, I uh, feel like I'm better off using them than selling them. Right. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Let's use, if I can, fruit rain. Use the apples. Good. And get those and then sell those. Right, I'm going to 
Whoop. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But whatever. I'm going to go back to that cave and pick up some of those items. I don't know if the banana is something I should be selling. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's a one-way door. Oh, never mind. Right, what was it that you wanted? I don't know. I have to leave those items there because I can't go back. Right. Garodo. I've got your stuff. Yes, here you go. Right, one more module to find. few empty spaces there. How much empty spaces? How much does it cost for a misc expander? You don't sell it, do you? Recovery expander? Thank you. Right, where am I going? Over there. Well, I'm going to be passing through the town anyway. So, on my way I'm going to pick up on a thing. I probably shouldn't have bothered entering that fight. Are these weak against Trisha? They are indeed. And they're weak in general. They're weak against Trisha as well. Oh, all these enemies in this fight are weak against Trisha. I'm going to take a step back. I can get this one here. Do 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 Just oh, pick that up. Why not? Right, how little experience do I get from these guys? Hardly any, as I knew. I wouldn't. Hello there, Tapton. Where am I going? Right there. But first, of course, like I almost forgot, can I buy Misc Expanders? No, I can't. Why can't I get Misc Expanders? Are they just not available to me yet? Right. Rainbow Moon. Misc Expander.
do 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 I just opened up rainbowmoon.wikisbasis.com for this and it says, the first thing I say, see is, it's time to say farewell. All Plus and Super Wikis will be closing as of 30th September, which is my birthday as it, as it so happens to be. And you'll no longer be able to access these wikis. You have seven days left to obtain your data. If you are a wiki organizer, for more information, please log into your account and click here. No. Shop level. Right, okay. So this has all the information of what you unlock. Right. So once Garodo joins, I'll then be able to buy Misk Expanders. This has got me curious though, so what I'll be able to buy at like the later, like the final levels. There's a few things here that cost like a million. I'm just, I'm this. I've just got my curiosity here. Righteous gift. It costs a million. Oh, it's a. Uh, an amulet with 99 slots and HP plus one 1.25 million right okay then obviously I'm really far off that but yeah I'd like to get misc expanders now but I can't Natural service. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it for that. Please come back again. Everyone's so well spoken in this game. Please come back again. There you are. Uh, apart from him, he's not so well spoken. Hello, you. Hi, hi. No, no, no. No, hi, yes, no, what? I've got to go this way, won't I? Fine, I'll go around. I don't think I'm probably better off sell those mushrooms. <laughs> Welcome. Seventy thousand. Eight million. 
Ah, oh, it's a boss, I see. Thank you. Well, I'll I'll do a save. Okay, what kind of monster? Aha! Quite a lot of them. Trisha's... Trisha's attacks aren't going to really help much in this, are they? Her one by one attacks. I mean, look at this. I was going to say, look at that, three enemies all lined up, but no, one of them's Baldrin. Don't attack a Baldrin. I mean, look at this. I mean, Trisha's speciality is range, mostly, isn't it? Does he have a... no. Positioning makes such a huge difference in this game. And you are done. No! Oh, oh it doesn't attack Baldrin. I, I, I didn't mean to do that, but still, I'm glad it doesn't attack Baldrin. I didn't mean to do that ability. Right. My fingers are just twitched and I hit X more than once. Who? Who? No, I can't. I don't know. Can't do that. Who? Who? When I'm. When I'm doing a, a stream as easily. Oh, you bastards! You're hot! Oh, I've left her open, of course. Oh, and they're just wandering around. Yeah, they can do that if you want. Come on, come on, come on to be, baby. Yeah, just attack these skeleton guys. You good against the skeleton guys, Trisha? You keep doing that. Yeah, run away, I don't care. It's true, there's an element of annoyance there that's you robbed me of the experience, but I'm not too bothered about that guy running away. I can't get that because the bag is in the way. But I can get you! Oh. 
Now, I would like to pick up some of these coins, so... I'm gonna not... Entirely... Kill them straight away. Yeah, just use the torch. I don't like the torches. Do a shield bash. Right, is that the last one? Welcome. Right, that was the last one. Thank you. Why are there so many trophies just for these mojos? It's like such a small part of the game, I think. Right, can I fruit rain? Yes, I can. Oh, and I'm doing it a bit late as well. Right, let's get those sorted out. Right, okay. Got some stuff to sell there. Oh, but everywhere's closed. Oh. Is there an inn around here? Or a tavern? Yeah, the tavern. Welcome. Right. Sell. 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 Yeah, I'm just going to sell these mushrooms. Thank you. Probably going to work out better than worrying about expanding my misc inventory. Yeah, I've got to go around that way now. Ba 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 ba. He somehow manages to speak over himself. How interesting. Where am I going? Up upwards and onwards. I looked away for a bit. So I guess something walked into me. Yo, we can get to Yeah, the flies. Yeah, everything's... Ah, oh, apart from you. I can get you. Huh. I could have just stayed back there. Yeah, just kill it. One hit. Easily done. Oh! I need to call the Savant, don't I? Now watch this here. Right, so the carrots.
I should probably check through all these again. The ones that exist just to... Yeah, I probably shouldn't sell those. Yep, that worked out fine. I can't ever see myself using these. I'm just gonna sell. Oh, a ton of them. Not that. Yeah, that one. Right. Materials. Get that organised. Get that organised. Yeah. Right, let's... Oh, the Savant. Can't forget about him. No, no not you. Then. Yeah, I read that by two, and they're both fine. Now, this is the last of your mojo. You're going to join us now. Oh, you're gonna make me do some another fetch quest, is it? The monsters just took over my home while, da -da -da -da, but it didn't seem to do anything, so I left in the chest in the basement. Now the brutes are all gathered around it. Right, okay then. Now what is up here? Anything? No. Yeah, I'll fight these guys. Two shots to the back one just because you can hit it. And it will die. Now you can use two earth crushers. Don't think it'll kill it. Oh, yeah, it definitely will. I misjudged you, game. What is the point of that door? It's like you can't touch the door without having it opened. Right, well, you're slowed, so I'm going to let you fester in your slowingness. Slowingness. Your slowed status. Right, hold on, hold on.
Bada bada, just checking Discord stuff, which I don't really do. Yeah, and I will slap that face again. The gold slap with the axe. die now. Yeah, it's gonna pick up the loot. There's quite a lot in that one. Ba ba da ba da ba ba. I have the door that it's impossible to touch whilst closed. I don't know what that thing does, but maybe, maybe. Uh, lots of skeletons. I'm going to see if I've got a different formation where I can keep Trisha in the back. Or at least close to the back. Right. Shouldn't really have done that against that enemy. Right, okay, I'm not going to defend because I'm going to give Earth Crusher a go because these are two weaker skeleton guys. Ah, found them both, so that's not too bad. And get both of these guys down, down and out. Yeah, just defend. Whatever. Can I kill this? Yeah, yeah, I'll just I'll just give it a good a good a good old KI double L. Earth crush ah! What is that from? What is that I'm thinking of? Oh it's family guy. Back scratcher Back scratcher That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, whatever to those bags. Just gotta kill it. Oh, Trisha gained a third sub turn. That is what I like to see. Right, I guess I needed to go there anyway. Right, can you fruit rain? Yes, you can. 
fact, how long is it between fruit rains? Eight hours. I think it's 23 hours of Rainbow Moon Day. Oh yeah, third sub turn. Do unbound. Oh, Baldwin's running out of MP. Right, I think you're well within range of a good old one of these things. I forget what it's called. I have to do it three of them. I have to do it three times. Yep, that's fine. Just attack again. Do. Yeah, these guys are well. Baldwin especially is really running low on MP. Take a step to the left and not a step to the right, but use this twice. Oh. Right, and you could just straight up attack and kill it. Very nice. Very nice. A very nice victory for me there. Do I need to make it to a savant? Oh yeah, because Fisher leveled up, didn't she? Oh, hold on. Gonna have to end this soon. Yeah, I'll kill this guy, then I think I might just save it and end it there. They're too far away, aren't they? Are there any healing guys? I doubt it. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Just what I wanted. Just gonna avoid these for now.
Why is there a savant in this guy's basement? It's weird, isn't it? Right, take all that. Oh. I don't have to use it. Have to save it. Right. I might actually eat some of this food. But for now. I've only got one herb. Go back and buy some more, aren't I? Oh. It's fair enough, I'll do that. I'll just avoid all these battles. Yeah, I'll just go back and uh, heal up. See if I can buy some more herbs. Stupid pointless door. Another stupid pointless door. This is the main thing I'm after. I'll get one of those for Dozero. And I'll get two of those. Actually, no, I will sell a lot of food. Right, that's all good. Oh, one more hour. I'll just, I'll do that. So I know it's out of the way. You know, I wonder if you could just like run around in circles and do that over and over again, how effective it would be. <laughs> Welcome. No, I'm going to use them. Thank you. Right. Yeah, fair enough. Welcome. So yeah, I think that's I think I'm in the right position there. Gonna move in a little bit so I don't forget where I am. And then save. Actually, I might just go back to where I was. Just ignore all these fights. Hoping I can pick up on this tomorrow. Oh! Welcome. Thank you. Didn't even notice. I mean, it might have been night time by the time I was there before. I oh, guess didn't notice.
Right, I'm going to save it here. And end it. So thank you everyone who has been here and I will see you next time.